Hello everybody. So I have been asked to do a tutorial on how I build my notebooks. So here we go. All you need are some um, discs and you I got these from Hobby Lobby. These are Happy Planner discs. Um, they also have them at Michael's and um, pretty much anywhere you can get scrapbooking stuff you can get these. Um, I got the pretty pastel rainbow ones. Um, but they have all kinds of different colors and they have different sizes. Now, if, uh, um, like thicknesses, like round, some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger. Um, and they also have a different number of them. Now, if you're going to use a full size, like a regular piece of paper, you're going to need 11 of them. If you're going to do, um, a happy planner size, which is, let me pull out my planner here, which is this size. This is a happy planner size, and there are nine discs. This is a full size, so you can see the difference in size. Oops. So there's, well, there's the difference in size. Okay. Um, all right. I have chosen to print out my pages um, full size because it's easier for me because I don't have to cut the pages. Um, but if you want to do the happy planner size, you can, it might be easier to, for you to find covers on Etsy if you do the happy planner size. And then you just have to print out your pages at 93% of normal. And then um, you're going to have to hole punch them. You're going to have to either get a happy planner hole puncher or you can measure the size on your, this is my arc hole puncher from Staples. And do it that way. But it's, I'm um, lazy. So, <laughs> um. I just do the full size and I don't even worry about it. So you buy these from any craft store that sells um, scrapbooking stuff should have these. And then I get my covers on Etsy because I do not have, because they're thicker, and I do not have a laminator that will laminate this thick of, um, the laminators that laminate this thick plastic are very expensive. And I don't have the money for one, so I'd rather spend, you know, $12 on a pretty cover that has my name on it. And, you know, a lot of places will give, you know, they have really pretty ones. And they have all kinds of, all kinds of different options to choose from. And then you'll need your printed pages. This is my printed page. So, when you buy your rings and you have your cover, they have little grooves. Let's do it on something that isn't clear so you can see. These are page dividers, or, you know, like, divider, you know, dividers, um, that I got from Staples. And they have little grooves, and then the rings just fit right in there. You just pop them right on. So, um, oops, I bent my page. So you just, you put the front and the back cover together, and then you just pop it on there. And then you do that all the way up. And I'm going to pause the video now so you don't have to watch me put every single ring on because that'll be boring. All right. So I got all my rings on there. They just pop on. And so then you open it up and you lay it flat. There you go. Now, you're going to want to get your pages. Okay, I have, I'm going to stick this in there because it's a divider and this is how I have my notebook set up. So, um, but that also just pops on there. When there aren't any pages in there, you'll have to hold your rings still so they don't move on you. But when you have a lot of paper in there, they don't move. So, um, anyways, then you take your hole puncher, your big expensive one that you got from Staples or your smaller, less expensive one that you get from Happy Planner. But I've had this one for four years and it still works great. It's a little dusty, but you stick it in there, you push it all the way back and all the way down against the, there's a little stopper here to keep you from, you know, putting it all the way through. Um, so that's perfectly sized. If you don't push it all the way back and all the way down, your, your um, holes might be crooked. And then your, page, your paper will stick out weird out of your planner. So all the way back and all the way down, and you push it down. And that's it. It makes the holes. And then you stick your paper in there, just like you do everything else. And there you go. That's how you do it. 
So I'm going to pause the video again so I can put all the rest of my pages back in here. Alright, so here is my notebook already. It has all, I put all the pages and stuff back in. Um, now a lot of covers that you buy, this one um, you can see um, my dividers because the um, page that she printed the um, rose you know thing on this is small it's a little too small but I'm okay with that if you're not you can always get I mean there are zillions of places that sell these covers on Etsy and you can't see I mean they're a lot bigger and you can't see your dividers or your pages um, you know on the top or bottom or sides at all I got this one on Etsy too this is for our planner that I leave out on the table so that my boys are not like, what's for dinner? Are we going anywhere today? Are we doing anything today? It's always sitting on the table so anybody can see it. Curtis, go away. <laughs> now, I the reason how come I use um, the disc bound system rather than a regular binder is because um, it's customizable just like a binder is. Like you can take, you can put the pages in and take pages out and um, you know, you can use it for a whole bunch of different things just like a binder but you can also flip it like a notebook and you can't do this with a binder I mean you can but eventually your your uh, binder will like the the seams will eventually crack and break this doesn't do that so um, that's how come I use this instead of and I hate spiral notebooks oh my goodness I hate spiral notebooks so bad because um, the end of the spiral usually gets caught on things and if you put spiral notebooks next to each other, they can get caught on each other. And they, they absolutely drive me nuts. Um, I know like a lot of people that won't use anything but a spiral notebook and that's fine for them. But this is what I prefer because it's just like a spiral notebook, but it's also just like a binder. So I love it. And so that is my tutorial on how to build one of these. Yeah. And if you want the link to the website where I got the Etsy store where I got this, um, I guess you can message me. I don't, a lot of groups don't allow you to post links, but I don't make any money off of it. So I don't know if I would be allowed to post the link or not. So I would have to ask. Um, but you can go on Etsy, oh my goodness, and type in planner covers, like happy planner covers, and you will get like zillions of results. So, but if you want this one, I can post the link to the shop where I got it. Or you can message me. I don't know if I can post a link. So there you go. Bye-bye.